Good early morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and click the like button. Uh, Hunter Biden's, Biden's $40 million real estate deal. During the time when President Joe Biden was serving as vice president, Hunter Biden struck a real estate deal with Yelena Becherina, a Russian millionaire and the wife of a former mayor of Moscow. The agreement was for $40 million. According to records provided by an anti-corruption group called the Kazakhstani Initiative on Asset Recovery, the massive deal has some sort of connection to a pre previously reported 3.5 million fee that Betrina paid to Hunter's real estate entity in order to gain access to the American business market. The Daily Mail reported this information on Monday. Uh, the real estate transaction for $40 million was arranged so that it would become a component of a collective real estate fund that would be used to invest in long-term ventures that Hunter had determined would be valuable in the United States. These type of investment vehicles are commonplace among experienced investors and fund managers with years of industry experience. Because of the intricate nature of the fund's operation, the organization that manages the fund is frequently required to comply with severe disclosure requirements set forth by government oversight authorities. According to the story from the Daily Mail, the overhaul equation strategy for Hunter involved the purchase of seven office buildings located in the state of Texas, Colorado, Alabama, New Mexico, and Oklahoma, using a total of $52 million in cash and $160 million in leverage. It was reported that Hunter's real estate fund, known as Rosemont Real Realty, has managed to raise a sum of $69.7 million to invest in office space measuring 2.15 million square feet. Wow! The investment firm owned, owned by Hunter contributed $15 million of its own capital to the fund. It is a mystery as to where Hunter's business firm obtained such a substantial amount of money in order to invest in the convalent, convoluted investment strategy. And that is C-O-N-V, as in victory, O-L-U-T, as in Tom, E-D. Convoluted investment strategy. Wow. I'd like to know that. Golly sakes. According to Forbes, the $40 million that Butcherina invested in the fund came from a Swiss company that she owned called Intico Management AG. Intico Management AG is a giant in the plastic and construction industries, and it was this company that made Butcherina a Russian oligarch and the richest woman in Russia in 2012. Now, I don't know if I pronounced that word right. O-L-I-G-A-R-C-H. Oligarch and the richest woman in Russia in 2012. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. According to the screenshots provided to uh, Kazakhstani Initiative on Asset Recovery by Bacharina's brother, Kenz Rakashiv, who is connected in the Kazaa business community and a partner of Hunter's. The following was written in the prospectus of Hunter's company. Prospectus of Hunter's company. Rosemont Realty has decided to enter into property equations contracts for two, one, two, five, eight, zero, 
zero, zero, zero. So that would be what? 212 million, 580,000. Well, they keep going. They'll be hitting a trillion, won't they? At Cafe Milano, Milano in Washington, District of Columbia, in 2015, Rakashiv was spotted with Hunter and Joe Biden, and I got their picture, who was then serving as vice president. This was one of 17 times that Joe Biden had been engaged in the Biden family business. And how many times has he reported he doesn't know anything about his son's business transactions? Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, well, well. My, oh, my. According to the Russian version of the prospectus, the partners will contribute a total of 69,700,000. I hope I'm saying that right. On the same turn, I, I don't have any kind of image in my head of that amount of money that I could have. <laughs> Is anybody else? Can you picture that amount of money sitting in front of you? Oh, $69,700,000. On the same terms as all other partners in the investment partnership, the managing general partner will allocate at least 15 million of share capital. New information about a commercial enterprise run by the Biden family during Joe Biden's tenure as vice president leads to questions about whether or not Hunter sold his leverage to the White House to be able to get such a significant amount of invested cash. Hmm. That's a thought. Complex investment strategies like this are often carried out by seasoned fund managers with the participation of investors who are at ease with the fund manager's level of experience, track record of profitability. According to the Breibart News, two years after the real estate transaction in 2014, Baturina was residing in the United Kingdom with her late husband, Yuri Lutzikov, L-U-Z-H-K-O-V, Lutzikov, a former mayor of Moscow who was accused of real estate corruption. After former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev removed Lutzikov, L-U-Z-H-K-O-V, Luzikov, from public office in 2011 as part of an investigation into public cor uh, corruption, Baterina and her husband relocated to Great Britain. This occurred after Lutzkov was accused of public misconduct. According to the Homeland Security Committee, the former mayor in particular was accused of exploiting his power to authorize more than 20 real estate projects tied to Baterina's commercial interest. This information comes from the committee's investigation. According to a report that was re released in 2020 by the Republicans in the Senate, Hunter was a recipient of a wire transfer from Baturina for the amount of $3.5 million in the year 2014. Baturina disclosed that her active participation with Hunter was a financial relationship, but no additional information regarding the payout to Hunter was provided. Hmm. During the time that Hunter was serving on the board of directors of Burishma and reputedly earning $80,000 per month. Oh my God, that's only a dream. I wish our workers would earn that much a month. Huh. Hunter was also actively engaged in the real estate business. Joe Biden was serving as vice president at the time. After Joe Biden had left office, it was reduced by one half. Hmm, isn't that interesting? My, oh my, oh my. 
very interesting. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button. I do appreciate it. It does help my channel out. And you are amazing, and you are a blessing. Don't doubt it.